Sullivan, puck is not loose, poked to the far boards. From the Collins Moylan Arena, the CMA here in Greenfield, Massachusetts, it's time for Green Wave Hockey here on FCAT Sports. Hello everyone and welcome to another season of Green Wave Ice Hockey here on FCAT. Lou Bordeaux here along with assistant coach Nick Marsher. We are so excited for the new season of Green Wave Hockey. Nick, as high school athletics move from the fall to the winter seasons, winter sports are usually up for speculation. All we know about these East Hampton Eagles is that they defeated East Long Meadow in a scrimmage game by an 8-3 to three margin last week. What we do know for sure is our Green Wave student athletes put in a spirited tryout camp starting the Monday after Thanksgiving. 38 student athletes came to camp, and if everything was based on their effort and their desire, this varsity roster would have 38 student athletes on it. Unfortunately, it can't be that way. So we have several who are on the bubble and a solid junior varsity roster. Nick, you were here for the tryout camp for practice this week. What was, what was your observation? You know, every year is competitive skate talk, but it seemed like this year, especially, you know, especially for the bottom, you know, 12 spots, you might even say, was pretty competitive. There was kids that, you know, fought right up to the last day of training camp, and it was really hard to make those decisions. But we feel like we're going into, you know, the season with the, with the best roster possible today. These kids work hard, and, you know, it might not end that way. Okay, well, it goes without saying that we are closely going to be watching those 12 guys. Bubble, JV, it doesn't really matter. Uh, tonight's game, we're airing on delay here on FCAT. By the time you see this, the Green Wave JV season will also be underway. Their opener is Sunday the 12th when Minichog's JV provides the op opposition. Most of the JV games will take place at Fitzpatrick Arena in Holyoke. Next JV tilt will be on Sunday, December 18th at 540 when the Longmeadow Lancers JV take on the Green Wave. Upcoming varsity games this Monday, December 12th, 5 o'clock right here at the CMA when the Westfield Bombers come into town. Thursday evening, longest road trip of the season. We'll be getting on the bus and heading down to Sheffield, Massachusetts to take on the Mount Everett Eagles. Rounding out a busy first week of the season, one week from tonight, Saturday, December 17th at 630, the Belchertown Orioles take on the Green Wave right here at the CMA. Green Wave tonight wearing their brand new uniforms. A special shout out to Mike Halubowicz from OT Sports. Did a dandy job with the new traditional Greenfield High School green. We got three captains, three senior captains this season. Wearing number one, goaltender Josh Bordeaux. Number 16, senior Sammy Knight. And number 20, Matt Lavoine. In just a moment, we're going to go down to public address announcer Alex Ciano for tonight's starting lineups. And on the third sheet, I got a few talking points. Does any? Banter you're looking for. No, it's okay. Are we good? We good now? Thank you. 
Well, and with the pregame festivities concluded, we are just moments away from the season opening tilt. The East Hampton Eagles here at the CMA tonight. As Coach Bouchard mentioned earlier, kind of a, a physical crew over the years. He has no reason to expect anything different tonight. Nick, what's your history with East Hampton? East Hampton's always been a physical team. They know how to play good defense. They know how to get the puck in the net every once in a while. And uh, hopefully our guys are ready for it tonight. Yeah, looking back on last season, Greenfield won both meetings between these two teams. They won on East Hampton's opening night last season, 4-2 at LaSalle Arena. And then later in the season here, a 6-3 win over the Eagles. It, the contrast in the two games last year, I remember down at East Hampton, we went to their barn. They packed it in defensively. They stayed home, and we got a lot of shots. They blocked a lot of shots. And then we learned from that in the second game and were able to capitalize on our opportunities a little bit better. Well, that's a great point because so often in this game, I know we talk about it being essentially a simple game, but taking the opportunity to capitalize on mistakes usually results in a positive result. You know, we saw that last season. Hoping for more of the same tonight. Eagles are lined up. Zach Roy is going to take the draw for them. Senior captain Matt Lavoine for the green wave. And here we go. Green wave won the draw, pushed it into the East Hampton zone. Back over, Gabe Grahowski has it along the left wing, sends it in deep down behind goaltender Josh Bordeaux. Ethan Bryant sends it around. Hunter Smith ran it to the official. Eagles keep it in. Robert Herman sends it deep. Jason Smith after it, down behind the goal. Zach Roy can't control. Matt Lavoine looked to carry it out. Robert Herman grabbed it, sends it back down. And it's our first whistle of the season for icing. Faceoff's gonna come back down to the left side of goaltender Paige, excuse me, the right side of goaltender Paige Galpin. Green Wave changed up into their second line. Matt Garvin on the draw. He's flanked by Brody Gagne and Jake Jurek. Porter Hall looks to bank it off the boards. Intercepted. Bordeaux! You know, last time we saw these guys on the ice skate talk, it was a pretty high-intensity game down Norwell. And I think we're seeing a little bit of that nerves shake off from uh, you know the offseason right now. Garvin looks to get it out, can't do it. Bordeaux save on the blue line shot. Bordeaux another save. Three quick shots on goal there in the last 20 seconds. Green Wave changing things up, bringing that first line back out. Knight sends it back to Jason Smith, sends it around. Hunter Smith taps it forward. Puck's loose. Will Sammy Knight catch it? He does. No icing on the play. Lavoine takes a body behind the net. Puck comes out, picked up by Mikey Thompson. Thompson can't gain the zone. Jason Smith side finds Sammy Knight, breaking down the left side. Sammy's shot was deflected. Goes off into the far corner. Jason Smith, big shot save, Galpin. Held at the blue line. Backhanded out of the zone by Hunter Smith. Sent back in, another stick saved by Bordeaux on the red line shot. Matt Lavoine got a stick on that, but that's going to go for icing. 12.47 to go in the first period of play. Looked like the Green Wave started to get their legs under him on that shift, Nick. I'd say so. Getting a little bit more physical. 
been more comfortable in their position. Eagles win the draw. Brody Gagne up the right side. Finds Jurek, save! Galpin made the save, puck was loose in the crease. Batted into the corner, Garvin runs over one of the Eagles, he's gonna go. First penalty of the season gonna be to Matt Garvin for interference. And Bordeaux ties that one up right away. Faceoff is going to be to Josh Bordeaux's left side. Jason Smith looks to backhand it out. Matt Lavoie with the block. He's all alone. Breaks down the left side. No save, Galpin. Just got a skate on it. Puts behind the net, Gabe Grahowski. Battered away by Ethan Bryant. Jurek backhands it out of the zone. Galpin has to make the save on that. Green wave change up. Get the PK2 unit out. Eagles break it down. Mikey Thompson sends it in. Porter Hall after it behind the green wave net. And Hall chipped it up, deflected by Brennan Stortz. Puck goes out of play. Faceoff's going to be to Josh Bordeaux's right side. A minute two remain on the penalty to Matt Garvin for interference. 11.25 to go in the first period. No score so far. Battle right along the blue line. Hunter Smith on the four check. Sammy Knight, nice block. Sent the length of the ice by Hunter Smith. Galpin sticks it aside. Long pass went nowhere. That's going to go for icing. 31 seconds remain in the penalty to Matt Garvin. Green Wave going to stick with this PK unit. Jake Jurek. Jack Laurie getting his first varsity minutes out there. Matt Lavoine at center and Jason Smith. Eagles come right down Broadway. Blocked out front by Lavoine. And Laurie sends it the length of the ice. Parker Christie behind his own net. Mikey Thompson couldn't handle that pass. That goes for icing. The penalty expires, so no harm, no foul there for against the Green Wave. 10-21 to go in the first period. Scoreless tie so far. Nick, what'd you think of that PK? They did a great job, especially since we haven't had so much time to practice that uh, this far this season. Well, it looked good to see Jack Laurie out there, his first varsity minutes. Yeah, played big, really confidently out there. Big minutes for a young guy. You always Matt like to Garvin see him perform well. Sorry. Matt Garvin back on the draw. Score! Brody Gagne! Brody Gagne collects the loose change. It's 1-0 Green Wave. Wave take the one nothing lead. 
could be mistaken. I think that's Brody Gagne's first varsity goal. I believe so. Like we talked about in the pregame, they did a good job of taking care of uh, opportunity there. Oh! Puck left in front of the net, Brody buried. Nice deflection by Jake Jurek. Jurek with some real estate. Breaks down the left side. He's got Gagne on the right wing. Can't get the pass over. Eagles break out. Matt Lavoine takes the body right, right in front of our broadcast position. Puck comes out of the zone. That's offside. Play getting a little physical almost as we expected, Nick. A little bit more. You can feel heating up a little bit. Faceoff's going to be right in front of the Green Wave bench. 9.01 to go in the first period of play. Carried in by Zach Roy. Back to the point, Parker Christie. Sammy Knight spun Gabe Grahowski around. Puck comes out of the zone. Yeah, we got an offside down to our left. Very, very vociferous crowd here tonight, Nick. As I said earlier, upcoming home games, Monday the 12th, 5 o'clock, the Westfield Bombers come to town. And next Saturday night, the 17th, the Belchertown Orioles provide the opposition for the Green Wave. Here's Matt Garvin through the high slot, can't control. Kept in at the point by Jack Laurie. Robert Herman carries in. He's got nowhere to go with it. Jerk taps it out, finds Garvin. Score! Matt Garvin with a laser! It's 2-0 Green Wave! Nice pass out of the zone there by Jarek to get to Garvin, who took advantage of that opportunity he had again. You know, he saw the guy coming up and took the best shot he had. Sometimes the puck finds its way in. Green Wave take the 2-0 lead. Jason Smith lays down the law at the blue line. Matt Lavoie carries in, saved by Paige Galpin. Puck kept in, Drew Thompson trying to get it out. Hunter Smith right there on the doorstep. Sammy Knight from the point, lets one fly, just missed short side. Ethan Bryant carries down behind the cage, centers it. East Hampton comes away with it. Hunter Smith looks to lead Sammy Knight. Cross eyes, Porter Hall collects. His shot's blocked. East Hampton sends it the length of the ice. Almost like pulling a fire alarm there. 6.58 to go in a fast moving first period. Two nothing green wave. Suddenly Nick, it looks like the, the momentum is all greenfield in this one. Faceoff's gonna be to Paige Galpin's right side. Lucas Siano out to take the draw, his first varsity minutes.
Jack Laurie sends it in. Got two freshmen out there right now. Cyano picks it up. He's held, he gets the shot away. Galpin had to make the save. Made another one deflected up into the netting. Lucas Cyano nearly found the back of the net with his very first varsity shift. One thing we try to emphasize to these young guys is the first one is often a dirty one. You gotta get down there and just get some puck lock a lot of times. But these guys are trying to get their opportunity to have a nice goal from the slot. I always like to see that. Matt Garvin had to take the draw. Wins it back, finds Gagne. Gagne sends it in deep. Calum Haig behind his own net. Hall sends it back in. Thrown out, it's not even gonna make it down to the goal, no icing. Hall collects. A little bit of a reckless play there. Dylan Archer recovered. Cleared the puck out of the zone. East Hampton carries it all the way back down into their end. Gagne on the four check does a great job. Zach Roy carries it in. Puck goes back to the point. Sent back down behind the net. Dylan Archer's right there. Jake Jurek collects. He looks to find some open ice. He breaks down. I'm gonna say Galpin got a blocker on that, went up over the cage. Backhanded back down deep by Ethan Bryant. Green Wave gets some fresh legs out there. Sammy Knight, one of those sets of fresh legs. Picks it up, he's got Matt Lavoine over there. Eagles come back the other way, sloppy change by them. They lose control. Jason Smith, soccer kicks it back up. Cleared out of the zone. Drew Thompson finds Owen Duda on this side. Some east-west action going on right now. Ethan Bryant, long clearing attempt. That's gonna go for icing. 4.36 to go in the first period of play. Green Wave on top. 2 nothing. Green Wave changing up their forward line, putting Matt Garvin back out to take this draw. He's got Jake Jurek and Brody Gagne with him. Jack Laurie sends it around. He finds Jurek. Jurek. Finds Gag, oh. oh, puck just bounced over his stick. Galpin wisely corrals that one. He's gonna take the face off to her right side. Big crowd in the student section here tonight. Hunter Smith got the shot away, save Galpin. Hunter Smith again. Oh. Matt Lavorne rang the dinner bell. Robert Herman carries in. Bordeaux, the save on Gabe Brahowski. Eagles throw it in, Dylan Archer sends it around. He's got Sammy Knight. Sammy can't control. Puck back in the Eagles zone. Blocked by Lavoine. Lavoine's going off. And that one goes for icing. <laughs> if 
Face off to Josh Bordeaux's left side. 3.20 to go in the first period of play. 2-0, Green Wave on top. Porter Hall sends it up the right side. Jamison Bellino forced that one. Jason Smith finds Luca Sayano. Luca got the shot away, went high. Porter Hall sends it back out of the zone. Bellino chips it into the Eagles' end of the ice. Yeah, we're going to have a hooking penalty right here. Good effort to separate the puck from the body there, but just got on that stick a little too long. Yeah, that's going to be Sean Beckwith on his first varsity shift. He'll never forget that one. So we'll get another look at the Eagles' power play. Nice block by Jack Laurie. Garvin sends it like the ice! Jake Jurek looking for that rebound. Nearly made the magic happen. Faceoff's going to be to Paige Galpin's left side. 2.15 to go in the first period of play. Minute 48 remain in the penalty to Sean Beckwith for hooking. Gabe Rahowski looks to gain the zone. Can't quite do it. Finally sends the puck in. Bordeaux holds it. Dylan Archer sends it back around. Kept in at the blue line. Mikey Thompson couldn't control him. Matt Garvin's got it. He's got Jurek to his left. Couldn't quite get the puck over to him. Ethan Bryant sent that back into the neutral zone, and it's backhanded down into the Eagles' end of the ice. Green Wave set up in their PK formation. Garvin leading the way. Zach Roy comes down Broadway. Mikey Thompson's shot from the point went wide. Matt Lavoine's over there. Chips it out. He's got Garvin. Puck hits the referee in the skates. Stuck in the snow. Before they hit that referee, it looked like they were both unsure who was going to grab that puck there. Eagles carry up. Ethan Marowitz sends it deep. Jason Smith, a little do -si do Drew Thompson put one off the goal post. Jack Belcher, Timmy gets it back across to Thompson. And it's back to Ethan Bryant. Ethan Bryant sends it length of the ice. That's going to kill the penalty. 25 seconds to go in the first period. Archer sends it back into the neutral zone. Jurek, 10 seconds to go, finds Garvin. Garvin back to that sweet spot, centers it, nobody home. The buzzer goes. One period is in the books here at the CMA in Greenfield on opening night. At the end of one period of play, the Greenfield Green Wave to the East Hampton Eagles, nothing. We're going to be back with second period action in just a moment. Welcome back to the Collins Moylan Arena, second period of play. After that action packed first period, Green Wave on top in this one, 2 0. Eagles came out 
trying to force the play right now. Owen Duda behind the greenfield net. Puck comes back to the point. Sammy Knight wins that battle. He's shouldered away. Paige Galpin chips it into the corner. Matt Lavoine. Jason Smith couldn't keep it in at the blue line. Icing's waved off. Mikey Thompson loses that battle to Ethan Bryant. Sammy Knight on the far side. And Galpin gets the glove on it. 14-11 to go, second period to play. 2-0, Green Wave on goals by Brody Gagne and Matt Garvin in the first period. We've got Gagne and Garvin out there now, flanked by Jake Jurek, Dylan Archer and Porter Hall at the points. Jurek's twig goes flying. Gagne has it in the corner, he's knocked down. Garvin comes away with it, gets shot away. High off the glass. That's 10. Stolen by Garvin! Just couldn't get it away. Galpin came on, cut it down! And put a glove on it. Took the whistle, holy cow, Nick. I think he was trying to get that out front to Brody who was opening the slot. Had a poor angle around the tender there. She did a good job to corral that. Shot by Jack Laurie's blocked. Jerk Jake Jerk. Some vengeance for his stick for the last shift. Absolutely. Jason Smith, nice job keeping it at the blue line. She gets the shot away. Galpin got the stick and the glove on it. Faceoff's going to be back to her left side. It's kind of like the physicality woke up the green wave there a little bit, Nick. Head coach Adam Bouchard sends the big beefy line of Matt Lavoine, Sammy Knight, and Hunter Smith back out. But just out of the reach of Sammy Knight. Gabe Grahowski goes down the left side. Hunter Smith with the block. Chases Zach Bermucci for it. Bermucci knocks it out of the zone. Careful that ice is slippery. Eagles send it down behind Josh Bordeaux. Jack Laurie picks it up. Laurie sauces it down into the corner. Picked up by Parker Christie. Hunter Smith, nice block on Ethan Marowitz. Smith again picks it up. Sammy Knight stops, cuts. God, I thought that one hit the netting. Referee says no, play on. Marowitz breaks in. Bordeaux gets a glove on it. Ethan Bryant settles, settles things down a little bit. Marowitz's shot goes wide. Green Wave on their heels right now. Gagney chips it out. He's got Jurek. Jurek and Garvin. Garvin trailing on the play. Jurek tried to get the puck back to him. Just hit the skate of the Eagle defender. Threw it off just enough. Galpin covered. Faceoff's going to be to her right side. 11.44 to go in the second period of play. 2-0 Green Wave. Jake Jurek down the right side. Avoids a hip check, gets down deep. Zach Roy clears the zone. 
Garvin has Jurek on the right side. Pass went right between his feet. Porter Hall's clearing attempt blocked. Garvin knocks it out of the zone. Sent the length of the ice. Icing's waved off. And Porter Hall sends it the length of the ice. Just out of the reach of Jason Smith. Icing is the call. Faceoff's going to be to Josh Bordeaux's right side. 10.48 to go in the second period of play. Looks like the play got a little sloppy there for a while, Nick. I was going to comment on that. It looks like that last shift calmed him down a little bit. When the puck looked like they had hit the netting there, I think they lost their wits for a couple of minutes. Big hit over. Oh, and the door got knocked open over on the far side. Holy smokes. That's, that's one door you don't expect to see open over on that far side. Jack Laurie's got some real estate. Carries in. Referee gets in the way. Hunter Smith behind the net. Puck is loose. Oh, quick whistle. Goaltender Galpin never had control of that. Got the friendly whistle, though. Faceoff's going to be to Page's left side. Yeah, tying into that uh, non-call for the puck hitting the netting. Looks like everybody's been a little off kilter since then. Lucas Sayano to take the draw. Oh. Jason Smith carried that in. Luca was offside by maybe two inches. We are situated right here along the blue line in front of the Green Wave bench, high above rinkside. Our usual position here in the CMA. Good call by the official on that one. Mikey Thompson carries it in. His shot goes over the net. Puck comes out of the zone. Battle along the far blue line. Ethan Bryant sends it over to Jason Smith. Puck once again comes out of the zone. Zach Fakos, Drew Thompson, play catch. Long clearing attempt picked off by Jason Smith. He's got it down behind his own net. Circles back. Sends it around this way. Can't quite get it to Hunter Smith. Out of the zone, however. Carried back in. Mikey Thompson got the shot away. Turned into a knuckleball. Ended up over in the corner. Jason Smith stops. Cuts. Puts it right on the eagle stick. Bordeaux says that's enough of that. It's a good reset there. Nine oh eight to go, second period of play. You're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. Glad you're with us here tonight. Shot from the points blocked. Hunter Smith breaks out. He's got Sammy Knight. Sammy Knight's go. Oh, couldn't quite get it to Hunter. Hunter was just obstructed by Drew Thompson. Matt Lavoine lays the law down. Porter Hall in a battle. Puck comes out, Jack Belcher, Timmy with it. Cuts in, Dylan Archer corrals the puck. Sends it down in front of the Zamboni door. Brennan Stortz with it. Lavoine wins that battle. Porter Hall looking to settle things down. Look to make that long stretch pass to Sammy Knight. Just a little too far in front of him. Goes the length of the ice for icing. Faceoff's going to be back to Josh Bordeaux's left side. 8.26 to go. Second period of play, 2 to nothing. Green Wave on top. Opening night here at the CMA. Upcoming varsity games, Monday, December 12th, 5 o'clock right here at the CMA. 
Westfield Bombers come to town. And next Saturday night, the 17th, 6.30 p.m., the Belchertown Orioles are here at the CMA. Eagles couldn't keep it in at their own blue line. Jurek has it. Jurek dangles, just goes wide. Puck is picked up by Zach Roy. Fought off by Gagne. Gagne gets the long shot away. Galpin covers. Faceoff's going to be to Paige Galpin's right side. 8.06 to go, second period of play. Matt Garvin on the draw. Stolen by Garvin. Garvin carries back in. Gets the bomb away. Page got the blocker on that. Ethan Bryant from the point. He lets him go. Nice low shot. Garvin couldn't get the stick on that for the tip in. Jurek behind the net. He avoids contact. Puck is cleared out of the zone by Robert Herman. Almost out of desperation on that play. Ethan Bryant sends it up, finds Jurek. Carried back into his own zone by Robert Herman. Oh! Puck was nearly kicked in by the Eagle defender. Good look by Jarek there, trying to find Brody on the back post. Gabe Grahowski down the right side. Ethan Bryant gets in his way. Play gets physical in front of the Zamboni gate. Puck goes out to the high slot. Ethan Bryant, nice back check. Oh, and he hits Grahowski into the boards with authority. Thompson's shot is blocked. Another shot high and wide. Green Wave almost got caught leaving the zone too early there. Lucky turnover and good play by Ethan Bryan to get the puck back. Kind of looked like everybody was out of gas there for a minute. Sure did. Almost did like we're watching stop action. Play seemed kind of choppy there. Six and a half to go in the second period. These guys practice power play at the end of a 15 minute sheet. There's no such thing as choppy in the second period, Skate Duck. Well, you know, Nick, I think that's a sign of hard work when they uh, end up with that much snow out there. Unfortunately, this is not the pros. We don't get the clean ice crew to come out every few minutes no. when we have the TV timeouts. In fact, we don't get a TV timeout. Eagles can't make up their mind who they want out for this draw. Going to lose the center over this one, most likely. Or not. Smith sends it in. Picked off by Drew Thompson. Lucas Siano carries back into his own zone. Finds Jason Smith. Smith off the heel of Sean Beckwith. Puck goes harmlessly around the back end. Chipped out by Mikey Thompson. Mikey Thompson gets deep in the zone. Sean Beckwith, nice back check to prevent any damage there. Beckwith's got it. He, he gets knocked down for his efforts. Laurie does a nice Gretzky curl. Bellino sends it into the East Hampton zone. Not a good time for a change. Jason Smith carries. Runs into his own man. A little confusion on the boards there. Laurie goes the other way. Finds Jason Smith. Smith fans looks to make the long pass. Couldn't quite connect with Jake Jurek. Garvin steamrolls. Calum Haig. Haig from the point. 
Shots blocked out front. Bordeaux might have got a glove on it. Couldn't tell from this vantage point. Referee's had enough. Sending Jack Laurie off for cross-checking. So with 4.43 remaining in the second period, going to get our third look tonight at the Green Wave PK. No coach Bouchard would prefer it were the opposite, that we're practicing our third, penalty, or our third power play of the night, but I commented on earlier, they hadn't had a lot of time to practice their penalty kill, so consider this their practice. Absolutely. Matt Lavoie got the puck out of the zone. Eagles take a look. Back to Drew Thompson. Goes across to Zach Bermucci at the other point. Green Wave PK keeping the pressure on the outside, keeping him along that far wall. Eagles missed a pass. Puck goes all the way back down into their own zone. Hunter Smith on the forecheck right now. Eagles trying desperately to recalibrate. Thompson got a stick on it. Sent the length of the ice by Porter Hall. Less than a minute to go in the penalty to the Green Wave. Good play by Porter there to get some fresh legs on the ice. Yeah, that was a timely change. Puck deflects off of Matt Garvin's shinnies. Drew Thompson plays it off the net. Faceoff's going to be back to Paige Galpin's right side. 42 seconds remain and the penalty to Jack Laurie. 3.25 to go in the second period. Green Wave on top, 2-0. I think we missed our best chance for a souvenir there, Skate Doc. Well, hey, ever since they started putting these nets up at the rinks, there's a lot less souvenirs for me. Jarek and Garvin. Paige Galpin, what a save. What a save on the shorthanded bid. That's a busy puck. She did a great job of keeping her eyes on that. Cleared out. Jerks all alone. Ethan Marowitz, great job getting back to cover. Marowitz has the puck. Broken up by Ethan Bryant. Bryant. His shot's deflected high off the glass. Grahowski carries through the neutral zone. Penalty expires to Jack Laurie. Uncharacteristic, a lot of slap shots tonight, you noticed. That yeah, seems there's a, a, a lot more controlled efforts out there rather than the bombs we've seen in the past. Jason Smith collects. Banks it off the boards. Jake Jurek sends it in. He's ready to change. He comes off. Dylan Archer, nice job keeping it in. And now it goes the length of the ice. Icing against the Eagles. A minute 58 to go in the second period of play. 2-0. Green Wave on top in this one. Good effort by Dylan Archer there. Try to keep that in. Just went right between his legs. Puck bounced all over the place there. Belcher Timmy comes away with it. Sends it in deep. Porter Hall after it. Hall sends it around. Finds Hunter Smith. Long pass, blocked by Belcher Timmy. Just kept in at the blue line, sent back in. Lavoie, nice backhand pass, finds Sammy Knight. Sammy puts it in the feet of Hunter Smith. Hall, nice backhanded pass. Sammy Knight, his shot's blocked. Matt LaVoyne just missed out when Jason Smith carries in. His shot's blocked, comes back out into the neutral zone. Porter Hall collects. 
Less than a minute to go in the second period of play. 2-0 Green Wave in this one. Reminiscent of their first game down there last year with all the block shots in that game. Well, that's a good point, Nick. And that was, uh, that was a hallmark of that contest. Constant block shots in that one. Zach Roy down behind the Greenfield net. Jack Laurie takes a seat. Mikey Thompson from the point. Bordeaux puts a glove on it. 28 seconds to go in the second period of play. Give you Samson a lot of credit for their block, their shot blocking efforts. It's not as common in high school hockey these days, but a lot of you know collegiate players make their way that way. Well, you know, so often we see in the pro game, it becomes a, a requirement to be able to block shots. And to your point, Nick, it, you don't see it all that often here in high school hockey, but the East Hampton squad, it's, it's definitely something that they've worked on. Right, it doesn't always mean getting down on the ground, just taking up lanes and making, you know, making them find another way in. That line of Jurek, Garvin, and Gagne have been clicking all night. No selfish hockey from them. They've been looking for They've been looking for each other all night long, maybe to a fault. Well, I think Coach Bouchard has to be enjoying what he's seeing so far. No scoring in that second period of play. However, with two periods in the books here at the CMA in Greenfield, the Green Wave are on top, 2-0. We've got one more period of play coming, and it's going to be back in just a moment. You're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. Welcome back to the Collins Moylan Arena. Third period action just underway. Lou Bordeaux, Nick Marsher with you here tonight. Opening night. Green Wave on top, 2 nothing after two periods of play. Hunter Smith tries to get out of the zone, doesn't go anywhere. Jason Smith picks it up. Puck knocked down with a high stick. Faceoff's going to come all the way out of the zone. Faceoff goes all the way down to Paige Galpin's right side. Paige has been busy tonight between the pipes for the Eagles. Matt Lavoine couldn't quite get control of it. Puck goes back to the blue line. Porter Hall chipped it in. Collected by Jack Belcher, Timmy. Send it all the way down behind Josh Bordeaux. Eagles are there. Backhand pass, he had nobody. Hunter Smith looks to clear it out. It doesn't go. Dylan Archer looks to settle things down for the Green Wave. He sends it back around. Hunter Smith breaks out. He's got Sammy Knight to his left. Hunter gets shot away, blocked away by Galpin. Her first save of the third period. Porter Hall circles, looks to catch the Eagles on a change. He carries. Gabe Brahowski can't handle. He's in all on his own though. Jack Laurie got in his way. A little miscommunication there. Yeah, there was. Laurie comes away with it. He's stripped by Grahowski. Grahowski gets a backhand away. Bordeaux puts a mid on it. He says that's enough. Two nothing game, third period early on. I know Coach Bouchard is gonna wanna see the defense tighten up a little bit here. A little less risky. East Hampton won the faceoff, but Brody Gagney picked it up. He carries it all the way down into the East Hampton zone. Puck comes back out. Jack Laurie sends it in once again. Parker Christie goes down the left side for East Hampton. Good back check by Matt Garvin there. Laurie once again, head man's, finds Gagney. 
Gagne long pass. Just missed Jarek, but he stamped and touched it right at center ice. No icing on the play. Gagne's got it again. Big hit behind the play, no call. Jake Jurek finds Gagne. Archer couldn't quite control. Could be a break here. Robert Herman, his shot goes high and wide. Hunter Smith picks it up at the blue line. That's going to be offside. No whistle. Sammy Knight gets a high shot away. Galpin ducked away, but took it in the shoulder, possibly the side of her helmet. Sammy Knight looks for Hunter Smith. Pass was behind him. Parker Christie sends it back out, right in front of the Green Wave bench. Ethan Bryant banks it off an Eagles player. Sammy Knight over on the right side now. Looks to go cross ice, finds Lavoine. Lavoine hauled down in the slot, no call. Jason Smith corrals it. Sends it back over to Porter Hall. Hall sends it up. Puck dangerously goes through the green wave slot. Jurek carries into the Eagles zone. And we've got a call here. Held on to that puck across the blue line. I was able to draw the call there. Saw his teammates with him. Thought maybe he could get it across and get, uh, get one of them a feed. Get that power play we were talking about. Well, it's been a long time coming. Robert Herman going to sit for two for hooking. Green Wave have the PP1 unit out there right now. Hunter Smith back on the point, more familiar for him. Puck is knocked down. Sent back in deep by Jason Smith. Goes down around behind the East Hampton net. Hunter Smith pinches in deep. Garvin sends it back. And it's sent the length of the ice. Bordeaux finds Lavoine. Smith sends it in. Kept in on the left side by Hunter Smith. Garvin. Just feathered it through the slot, nobody home. A minute 10 remain in the Green Wave power play. Jason Smith's going to pick up that puck by his own blue line. Makes the long pass, finds Matt Garvin. Garvin's got some room. Galpin with a big save and follows up on the rebound. Matt Garvin, another big bomb. Paige Galpin got the right pad on it. Sammy Knight there to collect the loose change. Galpin equal to the task. Send it the length of the ice. 50 seconds to go in the Greenway power play. Jurek through center ice. Gets nowhere with it. Puck goes down to Bordeaux. Makes the save on the 150 footer. Gagne streaking through the neutral zone. Porter Hall. And the puck is backhanded out of the zone. 10 seconds to go in the Green Wave power play. 8.55 to go in the third period. 2-0 Green Wave lead. Teams are back to five aside. side. 
Faceoff's going to be to Josh Bordeaux's left side. 8.41 to go. No. Saw, saw flashes of brilliance in that Greenway power play, but nothing to uh, put on the scoreboard, Nick. Certainly looked like the first power play of the year. <laughs> Puck bounces over. Shot goes wide. Puck comes out of the zone. Neither referee near the blue line saw it. Green Wave D getting a little sloppy there. Jason Smith and Ethan Bryant play catch temporarily. Can't find Hunter Smith on the right wing. Sent the length of the ice. And kind of mercifully a whistle for icing. Let the Green Wave kind of re, uh, re reset themselves here. And that sequence there is what I was alluding to when I said, you know, want to play a little bit more conservatively in the defensive zone with a 2 nothing lead. East Hampton sending one person into the zone. We almost turned it over twice. Garvin wins the faceoff. Battle for it afterwards, though. Eagles break out. Garvin sends it deep into the East Hampton zone. Seven and a half to go in the third period. Oh! oh. Mikey Thompson's going to sit for two on the interference call. Pretty much knocked Brody Gagne out of his skates there. I think it was Matt Garvin that took the, the brunt of that one, actually. Well, I think he learned oh. from last season's uh, finale is that he keeps his tongue in his mouth when he is getting hit these days. But <laughs> always a safer option. Quite, had quite a, quite a gouge last year in the Norwell game. That's for sure. Yeah, we've got a timeout now. We can hear you. So with 7.27 remaining in the third period of play, I just got word from down below. This timeout was charged to the East Hampton Eagles. They get their one timeout a game, so now they've used that one. Of course, Coach Adam Bouchard, no doubt, having a conversation with his power play units here. As we said earlier, Nick, power play looked a little rusty on that first attempt. Hoping for better things this time around. It's been one of our strengths the last couple of years. I think they'll figure it out here. Faceoff is going to be down to the right side of goaltender Paige Galpin. I said earlier, Paige has been very busy tonight. Been a long time East Hampton fixture between the pipes. Matt Lavoine steps in for the faceoff. East Hampton wins the draw. Puck finds its way back to Hunter Smith at the point. Hunter cuts in. Rotation to Lavoine. Matt Garvin couldn't control. Break down the right side. Jack Belcher Timmy couldn't control. Not quite sure what the Green Wave was doing there. Just kind of watched the puck. 
Long pass finds Sammy Knight. Knight's got Hunter Smith trailing. Hunter's got it now. Curls down behind these Hampton Nets. Comes back this way. Hunter carries through the high slot. Gets the shot away. It's blocked. Jason Smith. He cuts in. Finds Hunter Smith. Can't control the hot pass. We got a whistle on the play. Matching penalties here. Not seeing any signals. I'm going to guess it's Sammy Knight and Drew Thompson are both going for roughing. Coincidental minors. Shouldn't further affect the on ice. It's going to be four on four here. Oh. Nope. Yeah, we still got 59 seconds to go on uh, that interference penalty. Yeah, that's true. So Green Wave remain on the power play. Saw the ref signal four on four. Not sure what's going on. All right, I think now we've got all the housekeeping taken care of. Jake Jurek on the draw. Tried to get it to Jason Smith on the open wing. Couldn't do it. East Hampton cleared at the length of the ice. Jack Laurie has it. Jack Laurie's seen quite a few minutes in his debut tonight. Luca Sayano pokes it into the East Hampton zone. Laurie at the point. Siano lays the body into Bermucci. Puck is blocked by Gagne. Picked up by Zach Roy. Zach Roy cuts in and scores! A short-handed goal gets the Eagles on the board with 5.41 to go. I think the Green Wave got a little overzealous with taking the body on that one, Skate Duck. Up a man on a power play in the offensive zone, going for bodies a couple times there that let East Hampton get out of the zone. Nice play by Zach Roy to Barry. Well, suddenly this is a one goal hockey game with five and a half to go in the third period. Green Wave are going to have to settle down, Nick. Puck is loose. Dylan Archer gets a shot away. It's blocked out front. Teams are back to five aside. Sammy Knight in the box here. Matt Garvin's covering his position on this shift. And the Eagles send it the length of the ice. Icing with 4.58 to go. Two to one, Green Wave on top. Jurek cuts through. Big save. Galpin shot from the blue line. Smith fanned on it. Grahowski comes in. Eagles have been re-energized with that short-handed goal. Puck goes over on the far side. Robert Herman. His shot's blocked out front. Cyano puts it between the Eagles' feet. Gagne's got it. Just offside. Jurek just unable to keep his foot down on that play.
Dylan Archer sends it in from the red line. 4.15 to go in the third period. We've got a one goal hockey game here. Ethan Marowitz tries to gain the zone. Matt Lavoine finally poke checks the puck away. Sends it out. Long pass for Sammy Knight just ahead of him. Play getting mighty physical in the neutral zone. Lavoine carries in. Some more sloppy play by the Green Wave. Dylan Archer looks to settle things down. Finds, finds Matt Garvin. His pass for Gagne. Gagne couldn't handle. Gagne knocked into the boards. That's going to be a penalty. So with 3.14 to go, East Hampton's going to be short. It's an elbowing penalty. That last one, I thought it was Gagne that got leveled, Nicky. You told me it was Matt Garvin. Well, that time it certainly was Gagne. Got waylaid into the boards by that stray elbow. This could be another, well, no, I was going to think that uh, Coach Bouchard might be taking his time out here to settle the troops down. He's going back with PP1 on this one. I see Matt Garvin, Sammy Knight, Matt Lavoine, Hunter Smith, and Jason Smith. Garvin gets a shot away. That's blocked. Jason Smith just looks to send it deep into the zone. Lavoine from behind the goal line. Puck is loose. Hunter Smith, his shot's blocked. Hunter Smith says no. Puck is loose in the, sl in the slot. Galpin put a pad on it. Finally made the cover. Great job by Galvin to hold the post on that. That was some serious goaltending right there. Nice save on the long shot. Always difficult for the goaltender to see that one coming through a series of legs like that. Jason Smith, great job keeping that puck low. Minute 16 to go in this power play. 2.29 in the third period. He also had good awareness there to realize the defender in front of him had lost their stick. Best place for that puck was on the ice, and he did a good job of getting it there. Jason Smith Great keeps keep it in it. that door. Once again, bounces open. Wow, that's twice tonight that door has popped open. Going to have to talk to building management here at the CMA about that. That is mighty dangerous when that happens. 101 remain on the Green Wave power play. 214 in the third period. At least an open door won't cause a two-hour delay like a broken pane of glass, am I right? Oh, that's for sure. Sammy Knight chipped that one out. Garvin and Hunter Smith were in pursuit. They couldn't quite catch it. Jason Smith from his own blue line. He finds Garvin. Garvin sends a long one in. Shot was going wide. Galpin got a glove on it anyway. Hunter Smith couldn't keep that one at the blue line. He comes back and collects. Sends it over to Jason Smith. No relation. Sammy Knight carries in over the blue line. Hunter Smith loses an edge. Zach Roy.
Green Wave getting a little sloppy on the power play. Clean break, Belchatemi, Bartolo, a big save! Big save by Joshua. Big money save on that breakaway, a minute 11 to go. Nice drive by East Hampton there. Get past the defenseman, have a forward trail, and you can still get a good shot off like that. Great save by Josh. Another big save. Yeah, you make a good point there, Nick. The Eagles could have really cashed out after that first period when they were down two to nothing. No scores at all in the second period, and they've come out on fire this second half of the third period. Goalie's out for East Hampton. Eagles with six attackers. Garvin in the battle of his life for that puck. Puck down behind the goal line. Nice defensive play by Garvin to just ice that one. Smart that's one of the play. few times when you see an icing, and that's probably the best play you could have made. Twelve seconds remain. East Hampton's net is empty. They've got six attackers out. Got a lot of experience on the ice right now. comes out of the zone, Sammy Knight after it, five seconds to go. This one's over. The Green Wave hang on for an opening night victory. They mob goaltender Josh Bordeaux in front of the student section. Boys, showing the fans some love. Wow, what a hockey game, Nick. Good start to the season for the Green Wave. Well, as we talked earlier, East Hampton always provides a tough physical game. Tonight, no exception. And the Green Wave had to really dig deep and rely on everything in their character to come away with the two points tonight. Absolutely. A couple defensive breakdowns I think they'll go over in practice. Other than that, I think they'll be capitalizing on their offensive opportunities on Monday. Overall, a good game. So we're just going to quickly recap the goals in tonight's game. Brody Gagne got the green wave on the board early in the first period. Nice shot from the slot as he cut in. Gave Green Wave well, one one zero lead, about 10 minutes remaining in the first period of play. Matt Garvin got his first goal of the season. A real bomb from the faceoff dot. Put the Green Wave up 2-0, and that's where we stood after one period of play, 2-0. No goals at all in the second period, and quite frankly, it looked like... You know, kind of both sides were mailing it in at that point. First eight minutes of that second period, it really looked like East Hampton was taking it to the Green Wave. They came around in the second half of the period. And third period, it looked like East Hampton was putting the pedal to the metal a little bit more. Well, you're exactly right. And once we got to around the halfway point, that pedal went right through the metal. They put some high octane in it. And even though they had a man in the box, come away with a shorthanded goal by Zach Roy, 541 remaining and two key saves by Josh Bordeaux in the last minute of play. Kept the green wave on the positive side of the ledger. So they'll take a rest tomorrow and come back here to the CMA on Monday at five o'clock. 
Uh, again, this game's going out on delay, so by the time you see it, this Monday game may have already taken place, but we will be back here at the CMA next Saturday night, December 17th, game time 6.30, when the Belchertown Orioles come in to play the Green Wave. So for the assistant coach, Nick Marsher, I'm Lou Bordeaux. Thanks to my buddy Tom Alber, who has been in control tonight. That's all for now. Thanking you for your time this time. And until next time, good night from Greenfield.